the amount of money that we as a country have spent on generic drugs has actually declined. Per prescription dollar value of generic spending has gone down. That part of the market is working remarkably well in America. It's this other part, the branded part, that's working not so well. So even though branded drugs are actually a lower share today than they were five years ago of prescriptions, the fact that the branded drugs are so expensive means that on a, on a total basis, on a per capita basis, we spend far more than any other country in the world on drugs. 30% of pa patients go uh, and don't get their prescriptions filled. And that's problematic, obviously, when you think about what they they need in order to improve their health care um, when they're trying to maybe even extend and, and maybe get the prescription bills and cut the bill in half because they're trying to take care of their families, trying to, uh, to survive in their, their communities. I was looking through the channels this weekend and saw this PGA event where Bill Mickelson is, is uh, talking about, and well, the world's been around for 18 years, uh, just took a 20% price increase. So that the same formulation, the same um, packaging, the same impact to the patient gets, gets an increase in price. It's actually federal intervention in the pharmaceutical marketplace that has driven up the price of drugs in the U.S. to levels uh, that are unheard of anywhere else. It's not actually the free market, it's perhaps crony capitalism, where the government has said, you know, we're gonna pay for these drugs regardless of the price. And so Medicare is basically writing the checks, or the taxpayer is writing the checks for these very expensive drugs without really much uh, thought about whether the value they're getting is, is corresponding to the price. If you have 10 different drugs that lower your cholesterol, roughly all using the same mechanism of action, then pharmacy benefit managers and insurers can play those drugs and manufacturers off of each other to get prices down for consumers. But if there's only one drug to treat a particular disease, it's a monopoly. But the FDA and sometimes Congress have created artificial monopolies for those drugs by regulating the ability and creating barriers to entry for generic competitors to come in.